Well, hello, beautiful people. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me, and I definitely appreciate that. To all of the new people stopping by my channel, hi, you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you're notified each time I post a video. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey, y'all. And so today's vlog is going to be another DIY. I will be making a DIY utensil holder so if you want to see how i accomplish this look then definitely keep on watching all right y'all let's go through a quick recap of everything that you will need for this project you will need three mason jars i purchased these mason jars from hobby lobby excuse the black food coloring on my hand i was doing cookies um but i got these um mason jars from hobby lobby they were two dollars and 29 cent however it was 50 percent off so i was able to get a good deal on those which is super super exciting um you can probably find them at the grocery store or maybe you can find them at goodwill but i just went to hobby lobby um you will also need some paint i'm just using some acrylic paint um so paint of your choice you'll also need some paint brushes i just keep these and you'll also need some Mod Podge. You can either use the spray or you can use this. I got this from my local dollar store. And then you will also need um, this box. I created this box with scrap wood from my stove cover. If you have not seen that, I'll link that in the cards above. And I just put some felt at the bottom with some wood glue. I'll put the dimensions of this box down in the description box below. So that way, if you guys want to make it, you can definitely do that. But like I said, this is just scrap wood that I used from that project. And so let's go ahead and um, get into this craft. It's going to be super simple and and it is going to be the perfect accent piece slash utensil holder for your kitchen. So I'm just going to go in with my acrylic paint and I'm going to pour this in just a styrofoam bowl so that way it will be easier for cleanup once it's all said and done. So I'm just going to pour just a generous amount in the bowl and then I will take my paintbrush and I will begin to apply the paint to the mason jars for their first initial coat. One thing I will say is we're not using any tops for this project. And so I actually put the mason jar tops to the side. But yeah, just go in with your paintbrush and make sure that your first coat is very, very even because this will indeed be the base coat. All right, y'all, so it has been 45 minutes and I am just gonna go in and give my mason jars a quick touch before I begin 
painting them with the second coat. If you notice when I did my base coat, I pretty much went in one motion and I am gonna be doing the same with the second coat to make sure that everything looks even. So I am just giving everything a quick brush. Also, I noticed that since I am using acrylic paint, that if I brush too aggressively, that the paint will actually peel up. So just make sure you keep that in mind and just do even thin coats and once you finish with that then you'll just let it dry for another 45 minutes before applying your Mod Podge. So another set of 45 minutes has passed and I am just going to give my brush just a quick clean. I've done like a touch test to make sure that everything on here is um, pretty much dry as far as the paint goes. And then I'm gonna go in with a clean paintbrush and I am just gonna go ahead and apply a thin coat of Maj Podge on top of these mason jars. As mentioned in previous vlogs, it's really good for you to use Maj Podge on anything that's painted and so that way it not only seals the paint that you have on there, but also if you need to clean it, the paint is not going to come off. So I'm just going to go in and like I said, just use a very, very thin layer of this Mod Podge. So I waited about an hour and I came back to my mason jars being completely dry. I'm going to put my tops to the side and I'm going to go ahead and add my mason jars to my um my little wooden box here like I said I just used some scrap wood and my dad actually cut this for me and I just have everything spaced evenly so that way when I add my utensils it's a non-event and everything's not so super crowded so let's go ahead and get these utensils and add them to these mason jars well y'all my diy utensil holder is officially done y'all this thing looks so cute um so yeah it is all finished and it didn't take no time um so yeah y'all that is going to be it if you try this diy definitely let me know um and if you like this video let me know in the comments below but like i said that's gonna be it don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upload and until next time you guys I'll see you on the next one talk to you soon bye